In this video, I'll guide you step by step on how to install and use Cloud Code on Windows and VS Code. Cloud Code is a command line interface that integrates directly into your development environment. It connects with your Cloud API and sends requests so that it can get AI suggestions, then act on your behalf by editing files, executing tests, or even building your software. The requirement to install on Windows you should have an old version of 18 plus, install WSL Windows subsystem for Linux and have at least 4GB RAM. You can also install it along with Git and RipGrip to enhance your file search. I'll guide you on how to install it through VS Code Terminal, how to fix common NPM errors that you'll encounter when installing it, how to connect to your Anthropic account, use it to create a quick test React.js project, and finally see how much you spend on that project. I'll also cover all the basic commands you need to run on Cloud Code. This is a complete beginner tutorial on how to install and use Cloud Code on Windows to 10x your coding productivity. Let's get started. But just a quick pause. Creating these videos takes time and it helps if you can hit that subscribe button and like button to help with the YouTube algorithm so that this video gets to more people. Thank you. Let's get back right in. First, create a test project folder on VS Code and open the terminal. Check out the Cloud Code installation documentation. You can use the link in the description. Copy the installation npm command on your terminal and run it. This npm command is npm install then we use the hyphen g flag to install it globally then we use anthropic cloud code package don't worry about this command since it's in the description you can just copy and paste it and hit enter to install it once if you're installing it on windows globally not on vs code you can check out my previous video on what is cloud code and how to install it on Windows in two minutes. For the first time installing Cloud Code, you can expect to run into this kind of an error. This error indicates you have WSL missing or your path is not correct. For global installation, you can go back to the documentation or check the notes in the description of this video. For a quick VS Code solution to fix this error, first ensure WSL extension is installed on your VS Code. There are different WSL extensions, but the first one should be the one you should install. Secondly, examine the type of error you encounter, and as you can see in my case, ensure you are running npm install within the WSL terminal, not from your PowerShell or CMD. You can now log in into WSL within the VS Code terminal. It's simple and straightforward. We should first clear the errors from our terminal. Then just type WSL. If you have it installed globally and the extension installed, it should log in. If you run into any problems, leave a comment below and I'll be happy to help you out. Now we are logged in into WSL terminal. We run the command again. We run into this other error. The error is due to insufficient permissions to write to the system directory where npm tries to install the global packages. Here is how to resolve it. The first step, change the npm's default directory. We should avoid using sudo with npm by configuring a user-owned directory for global packages. Create the directory for global packages using this command. Configure npm to use the new directory using this other command. Update your path. This is a temporary path for the current session. You can also take this further by making this a permanent change, but I do not recommend this step so you can skip this step. You should run these commands one after another, but the last one you should skip it since I do not want to make the change permanent. Now install the cloud code package again, copy the npm command and run it again and Cloud Code will be installed successfully. Now that we have Cloud Code installed, to launch it, we simply need to type Cloud. 
This is the first welcome screen we see after launching cloud. We are now ready to go to the next step. Click enter to move to the next step and log in into Anthropic account to connect cloud code to your Anthropic account. We are now ready to go to the next step. Click enter to move to the next step and log in into Anthropic console to connect cloud code to your API account. Here we have this URL that we should use to log into Anthropic account. Just click on the URL and log in into your account. You can also use Google account to log in. Once logged in, select individual plan and copy the authentication code back to cloud code. Let's go through the onboarding. Here we have the options to start using cloud code effectively. We can move to the next step by clicking enter. And now cloud codes ask for permissions. Just click enter to move to the next step. And as you can see, the folder is still within the WSL environment. Now we are presented with a prompt input screen where we can start prompting or writing our first prompt. Cloud code uses natural language commands or you can simply ask questions about your code in normal English language. You can reference the cloud code documentation for some examples. See the link in the description. I want cloud code to create a React app using Vite. If you are unfamiliar with Vite, Vite is simply a tool used to quickly create or set up React apps. I type in my prompt, but at this point, you need to have credits for this to work. As you can see, I have a low credit balance, so you need to go to the Anthropic account and buy credits. If it's your first time, you need to add a credit card, fill in your billing details and buy credits. For the first time, let's just buy $5 worth of credit. We have successfully loaded the credit. And we can now create the API key and connect cloud code to our Anthropic account. Once you create the API key, we go back to cloud code and run the previous prompt. We start prompting. I want to be in control. I tell cloud code, let me choose the command to run. This is how I approach prompting. AI tends to produce so much code that it can quickly turn into chaos. Cloud code starts generating the files I need. You can reference the documentation as you prompt to see the best way to get this done. For some reason, Cloud Code was not able to create the app with Vit. First, I tested it directly on a new terminal to see if there were dependencies issues. Then resorted to asking Cloud Code to use an alternative way to create the React app. It deleted the existing files in the project and recreated the app using npx create react app. After a few minutes, the files are generated. I click on enter to accept all the files and you are finally ready to run the React app. During the file generation, cloud code ran into different errors, but corrected them and updated the package.json file for new dependencies. It also ran into a few timeout errors, then restarted the process, which I think were related to network connection. Finally, it's time to now test the app. I click on the link to launch the app and it's ready. The next step is let's find out how much we spend to create this basic React app. You run this command backslash cost to see the cost statistics. It costs 85 cents to create this basic React app. There are other lists of commands that you can use on cloud code, but you need to simply type backslash to see the available commands. You can type backslash clear to clear the conversation history and free up context. You can type backslash config backslash doctor to check the health of your cloud code installation. Let's try one of these commands. Let's try backslash doctor. It gives us the current status of cloud installation, which is okay. The next move is connecting cloud code to Git so that we can automate deployment. We need to connect it with Git and push this code to the remote repo. You simply use your natural language and ask cloud code to initialize Git repo. It will do the heavy lifting and in these few steps you can connect cloud code to your remote repo. First, you need to create the repo and give cloud code the repo URL. It's going to initialize and push the code to the remote repo after authentication. And that's how you install and use cloud code on Windows and VS Code. If you'd like to see a full cloud code tutorial building an app from scratch, leave a comment below. Finally, if you found this video useful, help me out by hitting that subscribe button and the like button so that this video can get to more people. One like, one subscribe takes me one more step forward to bringing you great content. Thank you and I appreciate your support.